Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Kaiserreich Legacy of this Ved Krieg. Um, uh, I've not played this in a little while now. I've just been waiting for the actual uploaded videos to catch up with the ones I'm recording so I don't get too far ahead of myself because uh, that can sometimes be a bit annoying. But uh, yeah, just one quick, quick thing to mention uh, before we go any further. Um, I actually, in between like now and the last video, uh, I tried to install the, and, and I might add this is the, like graphic icon thingy pack that the mod itself on its homepage recommends. Okay, I tried to install that and it seems to have screwed around with my airplane icons a little bit. And I'll show you what I mean. Look here, they here have the early fighter. Fighter of Five, which like you can see the black and white photo is like a fucking biplane or some shit. But on its little icon, it's got like it's got it's got a picture of like a fucking MIG or something. So, um, it's the same with like here, the third generation strategic bomber, strategic bomber three. It's got a picture of like a Tupolev Tu four on it, uh, just like a B fifty two, like bomber from like the fifties. So yeah, that's uh, it's the one on their website. You know, I couldn't. I've expected it to go weird, but it did. So it's not through any fault of my own, it's just like they need to clearly label it like and say like you're not supposed to install it on this that or that version or something. But anyway, it's it's like incredibly unimportant really in the grand scheme of things. So anyway, let's just without further ado continue uh, where we left off and I kinda just realised that I'm not entirely sure where we did leave off. No. <laughs> um let's, let's, let's have a look. Um, game speed set to extremely fast. Well, that's okay then. Um, economy. Right, okay, yeah, we're building all these crap loads of factories, aren't we? I just remembered. Um, when's the next one going to be done at? September 25th, 1939. The current date is May 8th, 1939. And actually, speaking of current dates, uh, the current real date of recording is May the 9th, which is. Victory Day in Russia and a lot of the former Soviet Union and a bit of Eastern Europe as well um, uh, so you know yesterday was VE Day I think in the UK as well and it's just uh, something I kind of wanted to mention really I guess what we playing as Russia and all I mean I watched the parade and everything and had it all on the TV in there and I'm gonna be honest it was quite you know, it was quite awesome, like, seeing all those sort of cool tanks and stuff on display, but it was also pretty sobering, you know, because, like, they had a lot of the original veterans there, um, some of which were just sort of so kind of overwhelmed with it that they kind of just burst into tears and stuff, and it was quite moving, really, to watch, and, you know, like the guy, the commentator guy who was doing going over it, he was saying how... how you know, a lot of people in the West don't quite understand how big a deal it is in Russia. Like, you know, like, in Britain we don't have, like, some big parade or anything, for example, in, you know, in London or anything on May 8th on VE Day. Um, really. It's just kind of brushed over, and I don't believe there's anything in America of a similar thing either. But the thing is, you've got to consider that, like, Russia and, like, the rest of the former Soviet Union during the war, they lost, I think, in total, and this is including civilian casualties, um, 27 million people and that by itself is quite an incomprehensibly large number but to put it in context the United States for example total casualties over the entirety of World War II both civilian and military and bearing in mind they joined the war essentially the same year as the Soviet Union did um, the Soviet Union lost 27 million people whereas the United States lost just over 400,000 over the course of the entirety of World War II, um, and that I've I've looked that up and I checked it earlier because it didn't sound right, but it, yeah, and Britain was just around the same. Around four hundred thousand people in Britain either died on the front lines or as a result of sort of civilian casualties from like German bombing and stuff like that. Germany itself lost only something like seven million compared to Russia's twenty-seven million. So, you know, it's a pretty huge deal and that's essentially one way or another 27 million people who essentially died to save the asses of everyone 
everywhere, not just in Russia, but the rest of the world, really, you know. I mean, if Russia had lost, then, God, I shouldn't think what the world would be like now. But anyway, yeah, so... I guess it's, uh, you know, just something I wanted to, you know, mention. Uh, my, uh... I believe I had a relative, and I'm not sure exactly who it was, but I've heard my dad mention it once or twice. Um, I had a relative who was in, who was over in the east. Um, he was on the Arctic convoys, which went from Britain to deliver, you know, critical supplies and uh, things to uh, the Soviet Union during the war. And you could actually see, I noticed, like during the parade, like in the where the veterans all were, you could see dotted around. Every now and again, in between all of them, you would see, and you actually saw, um, a few British Navy, you know, Royal Navy uniforms in amongst the veterans there, and I can only assume they must have been people, like, from the Arctic convoys and that, so, you know, it was quite, um, you know, if I sort of felt this quite proud, really, but yeah, anyway. And that's sobering note, I suppose let's continue. And we'll do our best not to try and lose 27 million people over the course of this game, I guess. Not that there's any way to actually tell, um, but you know. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Right, intelligence... I, I just want to quickly review my tabs before we go any further. I just want to... Right, okay, that's all just doing fine. That, I could increase the intelligence funding, but I'm not going to because it does cost you extra money, and I think we're doing okay for now. Right, you... Gentlemen are all working on stuff already. Which is fine. Some of you are almost done, actually. Uh, economy wise, yep, building all those factories, diplomacy, that's not important. Okay, so everything. I'll just smack it back onto full speed and just, you know, see, what, see how it goes. Everything seems to be chuntering along quite nicely for us at the moment. Let me just. Actually, let's have a look at the intelligence screen for Germany. I want to keep track of. Right, they currently have 137. Infantry divisions, and we have. We can find it on here, I believe. No, don't, don't, don't close the goddamn. Uh, there we go. Yeah, we have 139 infantry divisions, so we <laughs> we currently have two more infantry divisions than Germany. Though, of course, um, ours are uh, well far worse. I mean, look, they're all like 9031 plus. We don't have as good doctrines as they do. Um, Oh, right, nice. Got a couple of things finished. And that's not also taking into account all of Germany's allies in form of the Baltics, uh, Lithuania, White Ruthenia, and the Ukraine as well, which all probably total to an alarming amount of troops themselves. Though, hopefully, they won't be quite as advanced, even though they will have likely got loads of technological blueprints from Germany. But hey, whatever. Uh, remaining civil war still going on, but I'm pretty sure the royalists are winning by now. Yeah, the fascists have been sort of boxed in around Bucharest. In this little pocket here, at the other end of the country, so... I suppose that's okay. I mean, I, not that any either of them really are probably going to be any friendlier towards me than, they, than, you know, the other. But I suppose maybe they're slightly more liberal. Romanian monarchists might 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 look a teensy weensy bit more favourably towards me than the m m stark raving mad fascists do. But anyway, right, so you were you, this guy was researching something to do with computers. It was basic decryption, wasn't it? Right. Well, he can work on encryption then, or someone else can. Possibly that has better technological skills. The only one that fits is the Baku State University, and the Baku State University is terrible. It has like a skill of two. Holy crap, I even have a tech team with skill one called Ivan Sergeyev. I don't even know who that is, but uh, apparently he's pretty useless. Um, we'll have. Fuck, I don't know actually. Um, I guess the Kirov Factory Design Bureau are working on it. And the Charkov Factory Design Bureau can work on medium tanks 1939, finally. Which will give us access to proper proper tanks as opposed to sort of basically just tractors with turrets on the front. Though I should have to think how many the, uh, the Germans have. 
probably far more than I'd like. Well, I don't know if you can hear in the background the clunking noise, but that is our troops gradually, gradually upgrading. So we look, yeah, it's upgrading stuff like artillery at the moment, that sort of thing. We're slowly getting there, slowly, slowly, slowly. I mean, our infantry tech is up to level 1939, so we've got to upgrade these dudes from 1931 to like 1933 to like 1936 to like 1939, so bit of a way to go, really. Let me just check, is that, is that right? Is that correct? Technology developed, though. Nice. Um, yeah, no, it goes 1931, then 36, then 39, so we need to upgrade them twice. Um, Bluminek. Right, anyway. You, my good sir, have we got anyone working on land doctrines? We have one free to research, but it's historical years 1941, so uh, let's just leave it for now. Let's offensive fighter box. Nope, that's 1942. Right, okay, well that's all I'm going to bother with in terms of any doctrines. Right now, like I said before, I'm not going to bother with anything like close air support or tactical bombers or fucking strategic bombers. They're like the most useless of all when you're playing as Russia in the early game. Um, all of this because the German Luftwaffe is so unbelievably huge. The only planes I worth me building are interceptors to just shoot theirs down. You know, because if I build tactical bombers and close air support, they will immediately get shot down by German MU109s and stuff, so... Or, are they even called MU109s in this? I bet they're called something else, you know, just because it's Kaiser <laughs> Um, anyway. What else could we get, then? Naval doctrines? No, 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 we don't need naval stuff. I'm I, my brain is stuck in Japan mode at the minute, because I was playing recently a game, I've been playing both a game of Japan, games of Japan and Hearts of Iron 3 in terms of trying to get to grips with the game a bit more. And I've been playing um, I well I played a game, an unsuccessful game I might add, is Japan in vanilla Darkest Hour as well and I'm sort of completely, my brain's stuck in naval mode at the minute and I need to get it out of naval mode and back into um, land mode or whatever Ever? Uh, I don't know what to research, like, at all. I think we might have to branch into one or two things that are slightly ahead of our time, just because I think I've run out of, you know, I've run out of things that are actually useful to us in any way. Well, 935 motorized infantry, I guess someone could research that. That's kind of useful, right? I think some of my cavalry were upgrading into it. If they're not, they should be. Where are the cavalry? They're probably still hanging down in Central Asia somewhere, aren't they? Let's have a look. Shut up, iPod. Although, funny thing is, I bet nine, nine times out of ten, that email will be actually from YouTube telling, telling me one of you lots commented on one of my videos. Let's see. Just out of curiosity, apparently I have two emails. Oh yeah, one of them is from YouTube. Vladislav L has subscribed to you on YouTube. Well, thank you, Vladislav L, if you are watching this. Um, I appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, um, let's uh, just continue. Just continue. Do I even have spies in any of these like little border countries? I probably should. I mean, in fact, it's pretty fucking stupid if I don't. I bet I don't, do I? No! No, I don't! Why would I do that? That would be like the obvious, most obvious, you know, clever, smart thing to do, but no, not me. Right, okay. <laughs> Apply changes. Right. Okay, right there. Mm. What? Well, they have... Right, okay, they have a military alliance with Lithuania. But, interestingly, not Germany. I don't understand what's going on. Okay, right, they're allied. Right, okay, they're allied with um, the Ukraine and the Baltics. Lithuania and Ruthenia, and I know this does happen sometimes, actually. It was 
so I should, should, probably should have expected it, or at least sounded a little less surprised. Uh, but yeah, okay, so Lithuania and uh, White Ruthenia have seceded from Middle Europa. 